Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Saurav, and this is my YouTube channel, Data Science Novice. So, if you are new to my YouTube channel, please do like and subscribe. Your efforts are massively appreciated. So, in this video, we are not going to do any project. We are going to go through our roadmap for your journey to get started with data science. So, few things before I begin. I'm assuming that you can dedicate two to four hours a day. I'm assuming that you don't know or you don't have any prior experience with programming language and you don't have any statistical knowledge or you don't have any statistics background. And if you already know these things, well, that's a plus point for you. But I will still suggest you to watch the whole video. You might get something new. So whatever resources I'm going to recommend you, I have created a word file in which all the links will be there. So don't forget to download this PPT and that word file. So here are the list of things we are going to talk about. So first let's talk about programming language. So oftentimes there is a war between people like R is better, Python is better. And to be honest, both languages are good and you should focus on both the languages. So first start with Python and once you get, once you get comfortable with Python, go with R because company do ask for R sometime. So see, there are plenty of resources out there for Python and R. So why don't we learn both? And once you are done with Python and R, it's time for you to go ahead with Excel because Excel can do wonder. So in this video, we are going to go with Python because once you learn the Python, you don't need any guidance on R. You can learn it on your own. So the question may arise that how much Python should we know in order to get started with data science? But here is the list of things you should know in Python. So let's go line by line. So first you should be familiar with variables, objects and data structures like list, dictionary and tuples because they will help you a lot. So once you get comfortable, try to code problem on list, dictionary from geeks for geeks. That way, that way you will learn it better. Next learn about Python comparison operators like greater than equals to less than equals to. This may seem inconsequential as of now, but they are very important because with the help of them, we filter our data. Next, start with Python statements and loops because they are used together a lot during your project. And once you get started with, you will realize that how important they are. So next we have functions. Functions are very important in data science. You will be writing a lot of functions and function have one benefit that it can be used in multiple projects. Okay, so learn them and try to practice them as much as you can. So the last thing we have to learn is object oriented programming. It is very important because you will be using them a lot because you import libraries, right? So as of now, learn the basics because these basics are used in libraries. For example, how you call a method from an object. These things are very important. So just learn the basics of object oriented programming. And later on, when you become comfortable with it, just start doing more of it. So that's all for the Python and don't overdo. I'm, what I mean to say, don't overlearn things. Just be specific with these things. So a piece of advice, just start solving the geeks for geeks Python problems. Try to solve one problem a day. I can tell you after 20 to 30 days, you will thank me for this advice. So next we have statistics and the thing is very important in data science. And please don't rely on YouTube videos. They should be the second source of your knowledge. And your first source of knowledge should be books when it comes to statistics. Why did I say that? Let me give you an example. If you search regression, there will be a lots of video on YouTube explaining linear regression in 15 minutes. So you must be thinking that it's quite easy and a small topic. Now let me tell you a reality. I studied linear regression for whole semester. That is four months or you can say 30 to 40 hours in my masters. So the thing is, YouTube is there when you don't understand a thing from book then you should go to YouTube and try to understand it from there and you should come back to the book again and try to read it again. So what I'm trying to say, you should do hybrid study. That is book plus YouTube. So when you don't understand, just go to YouTube and come back to the book. This way you will learn better. So now the question may arise from where we should study. I mean, which book we should use. So the book I'm going to suggest is a holy grail of statistics and it is recommended at BSc and MSc level as well. 
So the book name is Fundamental of Mathematical Statistics by S.C. Gupta, also known as FMS. If you can buy a physical copy of that book, well, that's a well and good thing. And it's a kind of must have book for data science. I too have this book and it helped me a lot during my interviews. So as a beginner, what topic you should cover from that book? So being a beginner, you have to be very specific in your learning phase. Well, start with central tendency like mean, mood, median. Try to understand them. Where do we use them? Okay. And then go to the measure of dispersion. That is how spread is our data. In that thing, you will learn range, standard deviation, variance, and so on and so forth. So next, learn about correlation and covariance. And there will be many more things in that chapter. Okay. So learn about those things because uh, people ask in interview these kind of things. Next, we move on to distribution. So distributions, you have to learn a binomial distribution, normal distribution, and many more distribution. Among them, most important is normal distribution. You should know if this distribution in and out. You should know the properties. You should know the formula, etc, etc. Next, we have probability. So there is a whole chapter dedicated to probability in that book. So you don't have to worry about it. You just have to read that chapter. It has Bayes theorem and all that thing you needed for the data science. So next we are going to learn some data science libraries. So first we are going to learn NumPy and Pandas. They are used for data manipulation. And as a data scientist, you have to play with data a lot. So let me give you an example. Like if your project is of 10 hours, seven to eight hours go into data preparation and the rest goes into the model building. So the main thing is in data science, it's not algorithm, it's data. You have to play with data. You have to make your data best, best for your algorithm so that your algorithm can perform better. Next is data visualization library. Although most companies have another tool for this thing like Tableau or Power BI, but as a beginner, you should be familiar with these libraries because visualization help you understand data better. So we have two libraries as a beginner that is Matplot and Seaborn. And when you get expert, there are many other libraries, more advanced libraries like Plotty and Cufflinks, etc, etc. So once you reach this stage, you are you have completed 80% of the journey. You know the language, you know the data manipulation library, you know the visualization library. What remains is model building. That is algorithms like logistic regression, regression, etc, etc. And we will be talking about that thing in the next video. So that's all for this video. And if you are new to my YouTube channel, please do like and subscribe and press the bell icon for future updates. Till then, bye. See you in the next video. Stay safe.